Alexa, set an alarm for 5.15 a.m. 5.15. It's now 2.30. 2 2.30. Um, oh gosh, not my favorite day. Let's just say not my favorite work day ever. But we're done. I ended up doing three knee scopes, one uni knee. Then I flipped over, helped to close up after some sort of wrist surgery honestly I don't remember they flipped another doctor out of our room and then I went to one last room to do dude you're in my lane anyways then I finished with an ORIF of a wrist then they relieved me um, after I was relieved, I got my instruments ready for the next day. I don't remember how much footage I actually got in there because I was busy, but I tried to piece some clip-ins and I tried to piece some clips in and some of them are from other days, if that makes sense. Like older clips, just because of how busy I was. But right now, I'm going to get some coffee because I just, I need some. I don't really have time to run to Ulta or Sephora because Hunter just called me and said the realtor has booked the house for us to view and it's 45 minutes from here and my mom has already headed up that way so I'm gonna get coffee go home um, maybe try to clean up a little bit and Hunter's gonna meet me and we'll head up from there so let's get some coffee because this day just it, it needs to be turned around let's just say that So 
I just held up my drink and I don't know if you can see it, but I go to this coffee place called Clutch. Here she is. And honestly, I don't know if it's just local to North Carolina or not. I don't think so. But on the top of the cup, they wrote, you're awesome. That was so sweet. I'm not having a good day. It, it just it just really made it because the workers there are so kind and they ask me questions how my day is going every day and I think they could sense it was bad and they wrote that on there just so sweet like thank you God for people like that as I was describing so I'll just like quickly run through what a day is like working where I work now so we have 18 ORs I think two are paying rooms 16 are like running um, we've got a general side and an ortho side. I work only on the ortho side, clocked in at like 6.20 something, and then I clocked out at 2.30-ish, and that's a pretty typical day. We work on a number system, so however many nurses, however many tags, I wanna say right now there's eight or nine nurses on the ortho side, and I was third to last today, and tomorrow I'll be an earlier number. So basically just as rooms come down, your numbers are called and you can go home. So get there, get your scrubs from the scrub X machine, change, go upstairs. Um, everybody's assigned a room or you're floating. We'll get into that another time. So I was assigned a room. I worked with my scrub tech, who's essentially my teammate to get the room ready. Then I meet my CRNA, we go downstairs, we get the patient, we head back upstairs. Then we start the case, then we turn over the room in between cases and, you know, they're on out. Then at the end of the day, if you're there the next day, you get all your instruments and supplies ready for the next day. If you don't have it, you go back to sterile processing and you let them know what trays you're missing or what peel packed instruments and they try to get that ready for the next day. Our cases start anywhere from seven o'clock on today I had a 715 start tomorrow it's 730 I think yeah tomorrow I have I'm with one of the sweetest doctors I'm kind of excited and he's got a carpal tunnel a total knee replacement and a shoulder scope so he does kind of everything and I've got a 7.30 start, so I'll probably try to get there around the same time that I did today, like 6.20 something, maybe 6.30. And I'll get together with my teammate, set up the room, and go on from there. Yeah, so that's pretty much all about work today. Why it was so bad, just, let's just say you gotta have some thick skin to work in the OR, and today I, my skin wasn't quite as thick as it needed to be, so. Some days are good, some days are bad. I don't just want to talk about the good because that's not, it's not all true. You know, like there, obviously if there's good parts, there's good days, there's good people, and then there's the opposite. So it's just, just how it rolls sometimes, but that's okay. Um, but I'm excited now because I'm going home. I get to see Hunter. We're gonna go look at the house. The realtor reserved it from five to seven, I want to say. It's a 45 minute drive from here and my mom's meeting us out there and I think she's gonna have dinner with us and I'm so excited. I'd love to see my mom anytime I can. I will see you probably when we leave for the house. So I tried to film talking about just all the changes and stuff in my life since the last time I picked up the camera and I tried to film this in the morning but I just looked back at the footage and it was pitch black and the light is directly on my face. So I don't know if you can see that or even if I'll include it. So I'll just tell you now, just in case, um, back in January, I moved with my fiance to this new city that we're in now. I stopped my job at the eye surgery center and started at this giant outpatient surgery center where I am now. There's two halves to the surgery center. Half is ortho, which is what I do. The other half is general surgery. My husband and I got married back in March, so it's been six months and the wedding was just so wonderful. Other changes, we're actually going house hunting in about an hour um, in yet another city just because our rent ends in December and it's almost October now so we're just looking for houses. We're not sure if we're going to rent or buy but we'll see. This house is 45 minutes from here and you know, who knows if we're gonna end up with it, but we're just gonna go look. The end of this day isn't super typical. I have been going in the gym 
Um, my husband and I started with my brother, so we've been trying to go, and then of course we'd be cooking dinner and all this other stuff. But today's just weird just because we're going house hunting. Hunter should be home in about half an hour, and we'll probably head out and go look at the house. So I'll see you out there. I just wanted to update you because I don't think you can see any of that footage from before. So it's been a few days and we didn't film after looking at the houses the other night, but we ended up looking at three and I'll put in some clips of, I just took little clips of what I liked about each house. The first one we went to go see was, like the living area was really nice, but the bedrooms were so small. Like the master bath, you could, you could barely open the door and it would hit the counter, it was that small. Um, and the yard was really trashy and the neighborhood was just kind of scary. So, you know, obviously not going with that one. The second one was a lot better. Laundry was in the garage in kind of an unfinished area. And the way that the uh, hookups were made, it was just, it was not good. Then the third house we went to see was a brand new house. It was definitely our favorite. It was kind of expensive but in a really nice neighborhood um, we even talked about putting up a fence around the backyard and it was just it was 100 percent our favorite but still we don't really know what we're doing we don't have any decisions made hunter's been talking a lot to like, realtors and what's the other ladies lenders. lenders just trying to figure out if it's better to go with the um like first time homeowners thingy or if it's better to just go the traditional route so he's trying to figure out all those numbers we do have till December till we move out of the end of December till we move out of our rental now. And we just gotta see if we wanna rent for another year or maybe find something to buy. So that's about it. That's about all we got. So we'll see you next time. 